Hello, I'm Jeff Cavins, founder of The Great Adventure Bible Study and currently an ambassador and a board member for the Museum of the Bible to the Catholic community. Both we and the Jewish community believe that tikva, hope, is an anchor for our soul, and the Bible certainly gives us that hope. I'm confident that when people come to the Museum of the Bible, not only are they going to learn about the stories of the Bible, but they're going to leave with a renewed sense of God's amazing story. And I'm encouraging all my Catholic brothers and sisters to make pilgrimage to the Museum of the Bible and to see its beauty and its glory. I'm reminded of the way the tabernacle was built. God gave Moses specific instructions. He said that you are to build it according to beauty and glory. Bezalel was his name. Bezalel is the name of the big museum in Jerusalem today. I would say that the Museum of the Bible also is a work of beauty and glory, and you can't help but leave there inspired. It's a privilege for me to serve on the board, and I want to thank all of you for giving and sacrificing to keep the Museum of the Bible in Washington center stage in the world. God bless you. Hi, I'm Rabbi David Barron of Temple of the Arts here in Beverly Hills, California. Our temple explores religion through music, drama, art, dance, and film. And my favorite scripture is, well, that's like asking your mom or dad which of their children are their favorite. There are so many, it's an impossible choice. On our holy ark, we have the inscription from the book of Genesis, Yehior, let there be light, and there was light. Uh, that's a powerful statement because it speaks about the light of God in the universe and in our world as well, in our universe that we inhabit. The other verse that I love is from the Liberty Bell, the inscription on the Liberty Bell, Proclaim liberty throughout the land to all of the inhabitants thereof, the importance of religious freedom in our country. You know, our founding fathers were in love with the Bible, and the study of the Bible was pivotal. It's essential to them. And in our world where people have lost touch, that reconnection is very crucial. Well, what an amazing night. It's been powerful. I think people have been encouraged. People's generosity is obviously inspiring. How are you guys feeling? Oh, it's Great. been exciting. Yeah. Great night and uh, uh, loved it. And uh, looking forward to hearing uh, uh, other people's thoughts. Well, the Green family has had a legacy of being involved in the Bible. And so much of tonight is about sending forward this mission for generations to come. What's on your heart as we're kind of closing this night that, man, what are we praying for? What are we inviting people to pray for as they think of their kids and their grandkids and the legacy that we've been talking about all night here? Well, I know that there are people all across this country that have a deep love for God's Word. Uh, and I was convinced when we got this started that there would be many that would say, I wanna be a part of that. And hopefully tonight, uh, people would get a glimpse of the vision of what this uh, building can potentially be. There is a lot for us to fully maximize what we have here. And we invite them to uh, come along and be a part of it. Jackie, what would be on your heart to just encourage people with the, I know you, every time I talk to you, you just exude excitement for this place the groups that are meeting around it, how would you challenge or invite people tonight as we're wrapping? Yeah, well, I'd love it if they'd start planning their next trip to D.C. You know, I'm a mom, I'm a grandma, I know that people get busy, but this is one of the trips that they'll never regret and they'll maybe always regret if they didn't do it. So yes. we hope that they'll plan the trip and get here and enjoy it with their families. So tonight is an invitation for a lot of people to join in this exciting I would, I would argue, world-changing effort at the Museum of the Bible. Now, I know you've talked about generosity is kind of at the core and the genesis of how this all started. I would love for you to talk about that a little bit more. Well, our family has really been blessed, <laughs> we, and we know that. But we've also been given this, um, we just feel like God has directed us to be generous, and that it all belongs to God anyway. So once we've realized that and we give it all back to Him, it just helps us to be able to just to give and be generous, right? And the blessing comes with that. I don't mean 
you know, monetarily. I mean, the spiritual blessing comes with that for us. And it's just a really big deal for our family to be able to be faithful to God because he's been so faithful to us. Yeah, we, we have said uh, many times that there's really two things that we are told that will last forever, and that is man's soul and God's word. Uh, God says that his word is going to last forever. And so as, as we think about our giving, uh, those are the things that kind of come to our mind as saying, how can we... Uh, support and be generous to those things that will definitely outlast us. And uh, when uh, we know that God's Word, which impacts man's soul, uh, that is something that inspires us to be uh, uh, generous towards, and this museum being one of them. That's right. Well, you heard it here, Steve and Jackie Green, and we're inviting people from all over the nation, around the world, to join us here at the Museum of the Bible. And I just want to thank you for standing with the whole team, this is a family, you're a part of it, and this is an exciting time. This is a historic moment, not just for this museum, but to reach a generation. That's what this whole night's been about. So thanks for joining us. Let's keep going after this culture together with the hope of Scripture.